Among those mourning the passing of Mario Cuomo is Pulitzer Prize winning novelist William Kennedy. He sat down with Anna Myler tonight, sharing many fond memories of the former New Yorker. And Anna joins us live here in the studio. Good evening, Anna. Good evening, Benita. Mario Cuomo sent William Kennedy a handwritten letter in 1983, beginning a friendship that would last over 30 years. On January 14, 1983, William Kennedy received a handwritten letter from a man he had never met, Governor Mario Cuomo. The note praised Kennedy's novel Ironweed, saying he couldn't put it down, not even to sleep. What I lost in rest for the body, I gained in exhilaration. That novel eventually won the Pulitzer Prize. The following year, Mr. Cuomo signed legislation creating the New York State Writers Institute, which Kennedy still leads to this day. That's when their friendship began to bloom. He was a very vital man and, and full of energy and uh, a great spirit in terms of uh, telling stories. Kennedy was witness to Mr. Cuomo's three terms governing the state. He was the best orator we've had since F FDR and Martin Luther King. And watched as Mr. Cuomo's compelling speeches thrust him into national spotlight. I think that he had uh, such an impact on the party and on the world in general that he rose to become presidential timber. Suddenly, we were talking about Mario Cuomo as a president. But Mr. Cuomo never took the leap that could have landed him the White House, a torturous decision many have speculated. He had a strong personality and he had a strong belief in himself. But he was a he was of humble fear in a certain way. And then he he wasn't sure of how how this expedition into the presidency uh, might come out. And I suspect that that was probably the the heavyweight reason why he didn't do it. But Mr. Cuomo will be forever enshrined in the Hall of Governors in the Capitol building, where his portrait is now draped with black bunting. He will be remembered for his liberal beliefs and as a champion for the underprivileged, for children, and for education. But Mr. Cuomo has said if he has any regrets, it would be not putting his name on a large initiative. That the legacy is, is, is more abstract with what Mario is left us and, and and I think it's a wonderful legacy I think it I think he's changed our thinking 12 years of listening to him something had to have penetrated into the public mind and I do believe it has the governor's hall in the capitol is open to the public if you would like to view his portrait and pay your respects reporting live in the studio Anna Myler, News Channel 13 back to you Benita Anna thank you